Aloe vera is one plant every poultry farmer must have in the garden. This herb is rich in vitamins, minerals, and enzymes that helps in promotion of the health in broilers and also serves as rapid growth promoter as antibiotics, antioxidants, antifungal, as well as immunomodulatory and anticoxidia effects. What's up my people? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life of a Farmer, Loof, where we discuss farming in details. And if you are new here, consider hitting the subscribe button. And please, to all my old subscribers, thanks so much for taking me this far. I appreciate you. So some months back, I decided to plant some aloe vera because I wanted to go organic to reduce cost of production, especially on drugs usage and to stop the use of synthetic drugs. So I took out some sick beds and placed them on aloe vera and the result was shocking. Please ensure to stay till the end to know my findings. There are tons of herbs that which can be used as natural feed additives. They serve as drugs to boost broilers health with little or no cost to you and aloe vera is one of such. Aloe vera is composed of gel which is found in the leaves and these contain solid minerals of 75 different nutrients that are beneficial for your boiler's health. These include vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin B2, vitamin B3, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin C, vitamin E, choline and even folic acid. The vitamins A, C and E are responsible for the aloe vera antioxidant activity while vitamin B and the choline are responsible in amino acid metabolism and vitamin B12 is required for the production and development of blood cells in broilers. The minerals found in aloe vera that are of great importance to your broilers are calcium, chromium, copper, sodium, zinc, phosphorus, potassium, iron, magnesium and magnesium. All these nutrients listed are found in your day-to-day -day drugs which you spend huge money to buy for your broilers from the veterinary shop. Please, if you find this video interesting and you have gained something so far, why not hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon and don't forget to like, share among your friends so others can benefit and to also help me to grow my channel. Thank you for doing that. Other than the aforementioned vitamins and minerals, aloe vera is rich in enzymes which helps to break down food sugars and fats. Its hormones aids in anti-inflammatory and healing activities as well as sugars such as glucose and fructose that also provide anti-inflammatory activities. The antimicrobial and pain killing effects of aloe vera which is absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract is derived from antriquinonine or the phenolic compounds. The lignin in, in aloe vera it increases blood circulation. Then the steroids in it act as antiseptic and um, analgesic. Then it also contains saponin, which does the work of cleansing and antiseptic also. And last, let's not forget the basic building blocks of proteins in the production of muscle tissue in boilers that will make you smile at the end of the day, which is amino acids. With the abundance of these nutrients, I was able to see significant difference in the following areas after administering for five days straight and at every three days in a week. One thing I noticed was that their greenish stooling has stopped, which is susceptible to be um, Newcastle disease. Then. This um, brownish stool, as a result of coccidiosis, was eliminated from the boilers within a very short period of time. I also noticed that the discharge from the eyes of two beds, due to uh, I think maybe foul pores or um, infectious coryza, has dried up. And fourthly, the mind-blowing result was this: was the significant weight gain within a short period. I must confess, it's worth trying in your broiler farm. The question is. How do you apply it? You can scoop the gel from the leaf and use 1% in drinking water for your boilers. This is achieved, for instance, in every 1 liter of water, you add 10 ml of aloe vera gel. If your bed consumes maybe, for instance, um, 50 liters, then you will need like 500 ml of aloe vera gel. In other words, 
if you can get the powder by simply cutting the leaf into pieces and drying slowly with oven then you blend it to get the powder then you can add um, like 0.5 kg of the powder to every 25 kg of feed um, one way you can preserve the gel is um, just keep it in the refrigerator one other good thing about aloe vera is that it grows easily when planted and needs little or no daily maintenance with all these benefits in aloe vera you can incorporate it into your boiler's diet either via the drinking water or their feed and it will not cost you money so at this point now i will charge you to give it a try and you'll be glad you did don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon like share and drop your comments in the comment section thanks once again for your time and see you in my next video peace out